It's something this career brewmaster is conscious of, more mindful than most of vulnerable people around her. How can you walk past somebody that is unresponsive, that does need help? This also is just isn't an underprivileged um, population problem. This is a privileged population problem. On Tuesday night, Christina Ovcherik noticed an unconscious man slumped over in a downtown back alley. She was able to revive the person who was experiencing an opioid poisoning. The EMS came down. It was their last available car. Uh, we had the person responsive by the time that they had arrived. Um, they had another call where somebody was not breathing. Uh, so because we had already been able to stabilize and had responsiveness, they took off. Alberta Health Services says crews arrived within minutes of this call, but overall acknowledges there has been a steady increase in calls for ambulances, contributed in part to drug overdoses. It's why you and Thompson helped create each and every, a collective of businesses motivated to be actively involved in harm reduction. He routinely makes rounds downtown to provide support when other resources are strapped. 10% of ambulances right now are being dispatched for drug poisonings at a time when our EMS service is in complete freefall. So this is a situation where we could um, put more power in the hands of the community to respond and and perhaps uh, alleviate some of that pressure. Because of the high volume of calls for EMS, one street outreach team has taken the initiative to recruit their own volunteer paramedic who patrols with them. We know that we wait 20, 30 minutes for an emergency call as well. And most of the time it is the fire department that is showing up before, um, but again, not always in that moment where you really need them. Those on the front lines of this issue say that's the evolution of this growing opioid epidemic. More community members need to be called on to get engaged and be willing to provide compassionate care and be trained on how to save lives. Jill Croteau, Global News.